In a recent episode of Fox and Friends, they had the hosts try and solve their children's math problems on air. And this was basically sixth, fifth, sixth grade math, and they couldn't do it. They could not find percentages, they could not do some very, very basic things. And it was presented as kind of a light joke, and I'm not... I do not bring this up to, to knock this particular show because it is not uncommon. This is a common attitude. Um, most of us are embarrassed about our ability to, uh, to not be able to do math, and therefore we fall back on joking about how awful it is that we are. But we do not brag about the fact that we're illiterate or that we don't know our grammar. Somehow it's okay to say that about math, and I think that that's an interesting place to start off. Um, so I'm going to basically ask each of you to respond and, and, you know, what this particular anecdote brings up in you. Well, I, I don't have any real problem in adults like me not knowing <laughs> a lot of stuff. I, mean, I, I write a lot about history teaching, too, and, and we've got data going back to the 19th century showing that Americans never really were good at answering <laughs> history questions or civics questions, and that's something that we're going to live with. I think the importance of math is that it provides, A, some confidence uh, and someone going into that life, you can, you can deal with certain situations that you, you know, you have to make change, you have to, you know, work out a budget. It, it gives you a little more confidence to be able to do that if you've had some good math teaching. And secondly, there are, there is a smaller subset of people who, for whom math is going to be important in their lives. And I think teaching math, particularly teaching math to kids from disadvantaged uh, circumstances, is terribly important because we're wasting a lot of great talent by assuming kids like that can't really do very well. This book I wrote about the war against dummy math was the story of a, a college board program, one of the few that really, I think, made a great difference in our country for the good, um, that looked at the situation that was happening in high schools in the 90s in which most kids coming into high school were not given algebra um, in ninth grade, and um, many of them were ready for it. There was just a bias against kids being able to have that kind of experience, and once they had a pilot in several places and said, all right, you're going to require all ninth graders to take algebra in the ninth grade. It produced a revolution. More kids at the end of the seven years of that program were passing uh, algebra than had taken it in the ninth grade before the program started in those pilots. Um, I, my life was changed by a math teacher, Jaime Escalani, at, at Garfield High School in East Los Angeles, introduced me to what he was doing in his school with math. He was bringing kids from very poor circumstances and showing them they could do it if they gave it a little extra time and encouragement to the work, and they became um, really good calculus students in a school where you wouldn't expect to find anybody taking calculus. So I'm, I see math as both practical, we have to use it, but two, a way to sort of energize and give more choices to people in our society who have all the same, are just as smart as the kids we see in suburban schools, but haven't been given the opportunity, haven't been given the the, the real truth, which is with extra time and encouragement, they can do lots of things that people don't think they can do.